Hello everyone. Let me introduce the article Positioning Error Modeling with Signal Burst of LVO Constellation. This presentation is divided into the following five parts. First, to introduce the introduction. As we all know, GNSS provides all weather continuous navigation service to global users and plays an important role in navigation security, economy, and society. However, with the continuous development of user needs and application expansion in complex environment, GNSS is also facing great challenges. It is shown in the following three aspects. The basic navigation service provided by GNSS is only 10 meters. Its signal landing power is low, and its civil signal is vulnerable to deception and interference. However, LEO satellite has become one of the hot research trends in the field of satellite navigation with its unique operator advantages. LEO satellite has the advantages of high landing power, high speed of movement, quick change of geonomy and launch with the help of small satellite platform, which can achieve high anti-interference, precious positioning, fast convergency and rapid deployment in war time. Based on the above advantages of LEO satellites, the research of broadcasting navigation signals by means of LEO satellites is becoming more and more popular. Based on the above background, this paper focused on the LEO navigation signal and models the positioning error of the LEO constellation signal burst, which provides reference for the construction of LEO navigation system. The second part introduced signal modeling on LEO signal burst. The positioning performance of LEO signal burst is affected by system error and management error, and each error term is closely related to the parameters of LEO signal burst. Therefore, this part will model the LEO signal and then analyze the influence of each parameter on positioning error. Firstly, the signal burst of LEO satellite is modeled. The LEO navigation signal realized navigation function by means of satellite paging channel, which has this continuous characteristic in time domain, also known as signal burst. From the mathematical expression, it can be seen that the main parameters are signal power, navigation data, carrier frequency, and signal duration. The influence of each parameter on positioning performance will be analyzed respectively. Firstly, the Doppler error is modeled. The Doppler error caused by time difference and signal power will be introduced when the receiver performs positioning calculation and time determination, which will eventually affect the positioning accuracy. Therefore, it is necessary to analyze the relationship between signal duration, carrier to noise ratio, and the frequency measurement performance. In this paper, the conception of CRLB is introduced. C 
CRLB is the best estimation accuracy and the unbiased estimation. It can be seen that the longer the signal duration is, the higher the carrier to noise ratio is, and the more accurate the frequency estimation is. From a quantitative point of view, in order to achieve frequency estimation accuracy of 0 0.1 Hz, even in the condition of carrier to noise ratio is 55 dB Hz, the signal duration is at least 11 milliseconds. Next, the pseudo range error is modeled. The signal power and chip duration of signal burst will affect the pseudo range error and then affect the positioning accuracy. Therefore, the variation of pseudo range error with chip duration and carrier to noise ratio is simulated and analyzed. It can be seen from the simulation results. First, with the increase of carrier to noise ratio, the chip duration required to achieve the same pseudo range accuracy is gradually increased. Secondly, under the condition of the same received signal carrier to noise ratio, the pseudo range error is improved with the extension of chip duration. Therefore, in order to achieve high pseudo range accuracy, one is to improve the signal power, the other is to improve the signal bandwidth. The third part is positioning error analysis of LEO signal burst. The LEO constellation system is established and the positioning performance is simulated and analyzed. In the simulated LEO scenario, the operate height is set at 780 km, which is divided into six operator plans with 12 satellites per operator plan. The visibility is analyzed first and the operator parameter of multi coverage periods are derived. Then, the inference of signal duration and carrier to noise ratio on positioning performance is analyzed. Similarly, with the extension of signal duration and the improvement of carrier to noise ratio, the positioning accuracy is improved. Four to five satellites positioning can achieve the accuracy of 10 meters level. Next, the influence of chip duration and carrier to noise ratio on positioning performance is analyzed. With the shortening of chip duration and the improvement of carrier to noise ratio, the positioning accuracy is improved. When the carrier to noise ratio is 45 to 55 dB Hz and the chip duration is 900 nanosecond, the positioning accuracy of 10 meters can be satisfied. The full part is Error analysis of navigation effectiveness to simulate the influence of effectiveness position error and velocity error on positioning performance. According to the simulation results, it can be seen that the satellite position and the velocity error are not the major limitation of user positioning accuracy. And the simulation says 
The positioning results of six to seven satellites can reach below 10 meters. Finally, is conclusion. In this paper, we focus on the LEO signal burst. Firstly, the mathematical model is proposed. Then, the estimation error of LEO navigation signal, including Doppler error and pseudo range error, are derived. Finally, the positioning performance of large-scale LEO constellation is analyzed with numerical simulation. The conclusions of this paper are drawn below. First, the carrier-to-noise ratio and signal duration of LEO navigation signal can significantly affect Doppler error. With the increase of Doppler error, the positioning error increases. With the designed constellation in this paper, positioning error can achieve 10 meters with the number of visible satellites at 6 or more. The signal duration of 5 to 30 milliseconds and the carrier to noise ratio of 25 to 55 dBhz. Second, the carrier to noise ratio and chip duration of LEO navigation signal can significantly affect the pseudo range error. With the increase of pseudo range error, the positioning error basically presents a trend of linear increasing. With the designed constellation in this paper, positioning accuracy can achieve 10 meters with the number of visible satellites as 4 or more. The carrier to noise ratio as 45 to 55 dBhz and the bandwidth is more than 2 GHz. Finally, the effectiveness error are no longer the major concern in positioning. Even if the satellite position and the velocity errors are slightly increased, the final positioning results may nearly unchanged. My presentation is over. Thank you for your listening.